Welcome to part 4 of building a basic penetration testing lab. In this part of the lab, we're going to install Metasploitable 2 in a virtual machine. Metasploitable 2 is a vulnerable version of Linux that's been designed from the ground up to have many vulnerabilities for us to test our penetration testing skills. So before we install Metasploitable, we have to actually download it. So what we're going to do is go to sourceforge.net slash projects slash Metasploitable. When you go there, you'll see this big green button for download. Go ahead and click that and Metasploitable will download to your downloads folder. So once it's downloaded, you'll see that metasploitable-linux.2.0.0.zip is a zip file. So on Mac, to extract the zip file, you're just going to double click it. If you have a Windows machine, you'll right click and say extract all, and it will extract the files. Once your zip file is extracted, you'll see a folder called metasploitable2. And inside, you'll see that we have the virtual machine hard disk. So to install Metasploitable in a virtual box, because it's originally created for VMware, we're going to create a new machine. And here we'll give it a name, in this case Metasploitable2. And we're going to select the type as Linux. And this is actually going to be a Ubuntu machine, and it is a 32-bit. For the uh, recommended size, we're going to go ahead and give it 512, which is more than enough for Metasploitable. And instead of creating a new hard disk, we're going to actually use an existing hard disk. Click on our little arrow, go to our downloads folder, into the Metasploitable, and select the VMDK file, which is our hard disk. In this case, it is a 1.95 gigabyte hard disk. Click open, and then hit create. This creates our virtual machine. And at this point, everything we need for Metasploitable is done. So if we start up the machine, we'll be able to see Metasploitable load up. It uses Grub as its bootloader. It's going to boot up and it's a text-based version of Linux, so we should get to the prompt that will allow us to log in. As you can see, it's running things like Apache Web Server, MySQL. So we'll just do MSF Admin and MSF Admin. And now we're into the machine and we're at the prompt. So now that we know this machine is good, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shut it down. Sudo, so we'll be using it as a root user, shutdown dash H now. Put in the password, MSF admin, and it will shut down the system and turn off that virtual box. And to close the machine and power it off, we're going to close the X and select power off. So at this point in building our lab, we have created the virtual environment using VirtualBox. We've then installed Kali Linux to use as our penetration testing platform. And now we have our first vulnerable machine, Metasploitable 2. The next thing we'll have to do is install a Windows machine to have for our vulnerabilities. And in this case, we're going to use Windows XP Service Pack 3 in part 5 of the video series. In part 6, we'll connect these all together using networking to ensure that they can communicate to each other, but that they cannot communicate to the outside world, because we don't want these vulnerable machines exposed to the internet.